Maths, Year 3, Week 3, Day 2. This is Step 7 of our Length and Perimeter Unit, and today we're actually going to move on to talking about the perimeter, which, as you'll see as we go through the slide, is the outside of a shape. Any of the straight lines that we can measure, often using squares or a ruler. Just to start off with, it says circle the 2D shapes below. Remembering that a 2D shape is two dimensional, which means that if it was in front of you, not on the screen, it would be a shape that's drawn on a piece of paper, one that you can't pick up. So that should help us here um, with finding out which one is which. I'm just going to give you a moment there to highlight or circle or call or name the, the 2D shapes in front of you. And you should have seen that it's the triangle and the circle, the kite, the rectangle, the quadrilateral. And here with six sides, so you can remember what a six sided shape is called a hexagon. It's a hexagon. Okay, let's get going. There we are. Now, when we're looking at this first question here, we've got our two shapes, and it says circle the shape with the shortest perimeter. Now, we have to be a little bit careful, and we've got our ruler down here which shows us one side at five centimeters in shape A and one side at six centimeters on shape B. Now the perimeter is all the lines on the outside of a shape. So here we would do five but five times because it's a pentagon. And here we would do six three times. And this is where your multiplication facts come into play. So here, Five sides times five would give us 25 centimeters for the perimeter. And this one, three times six would give us the perimeter, which should mean that B is the shortest perimeter because three times six is 18. Here, if we were in school and in our math books, you can see the squares here, they represent one centimeter. Okay, and it looks a little bit like an array when we were doing arrays back when we were in school. And we would simply count the squares along the edge. And here we can see that it's one, two, three, four. And three down, one, two, three. So we can go one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, here. Yeah. Or we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, on this one. Okay, so we can do this side and this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're counting the squares all the way around the outside. We've got 4 and 4, which gives us 8, and 3 and 3, which is 6, which gives us 14. The perimeter of the shape below, so remember the perimeter is all the edges on the outside. We've got no squares here, but we have got our ruler which shows us that one side is seven centimeters. Now, if it only gives us one side, we have to assume that this is an equilateral triangle, that all the sides are the same. So here it's going to be three times seven, or seven plus seven plus seven. Okay, and it should give us the perimeter. So we're going to do seven on this side, it will be seven on this side, and seven on this side. Okay, and it's up to you. You can either do that 7 plus 7 plus 7, or you can do 3 times 7, 7, and use our knowledge of the 7 times tables or our 3 times tables because it's the opposite and you get the same answer. 
and we should get 21 centimetres. Thinking about the reasoning here, so we've got reasoning number one at the top, which comes into your reason and problem solving when you do your worksheet. Here, it says circle the odd one out. So we have to work out each of the shapes and decide which one is not correct. So here we've got a square and we know that squares are slightly different to other quadrilaterals because all the sides are the same. So here we've got one side at five centimeters, which means all the other sides are also five centimeters. So this is gonna be five, four times. So five plus five plus five plus five, which would give me 20 centimeters for that perimeter. On this side, we can see that it's four and it's a pentagon, which means it's got five sides, so it would be four plus four plus four plus four plus four, plus four or four times five, which also gives me 20. So they're the same so far. Here, we've got a rectangle and it's given us both sides because we know that rectangles are two lots of parallel lines, which means that this side and this side are the same and this side and this side are the same. So we don't need to say the measurement for each side on the picture. We can just give two of the sides. So we've got six, which means the other side is six, which is 12. And this side is four. And this side is four centimeters. So we've already done this side and this side, which was 12. Now we add the four, okay, which gives us 16. And then the other side, which is also going to be four, which gives us 20. Let's not make any guesses though, we'll still add this one up as well or do the multiplication and we've got four centimetres on D, which means that all the other sides must be four, so it's four plus four plus four, or because it's a triangle, three times four, which would give us 12, which means that one should be the odd one out, of course. And then we have to explain it because it's reasoning. So D is the odd one out because it has a perimeter of 12 centimetres, whereas the other shapes have a perimeter of 20 centimetres. Re this is a problem solving question then, which you'll also have on your, on your activity sheet. Follow the clues to draw the shape. Kyle says, my shape has five equal sides. Each side is equal and is greater than three centimetres, but less than six centimetres. Okay, so shape with five equal sides, likely to be a pentagon, okay, because it's got five sides. And Anna says, my shape has one more side than Kyle, and they are all equal. The sides are less than two cent six centimetres, but greater than two centimetres. So that's less than six, but greater than two. So we can assume then, and well, we know from Anna's clues here that she's got a, a hexagon. So Kyle's got his pentagon and Anna has got her hexagon here. So we can have a go at drawing these. All shapes to be drawn with a ruler. Okay. Kyle's shape is a regular pentagon and Anna's shape is a regular hexagon. For example, Kyle's shape could be four and four and four and four and four, which gives a perimeter of 20. And Anna could have one as three and three and three and three and three and three, which gives us a perimeter of 18 centimetres. I think there could be other com uh, combinations, so it's worth having having a little go and really just getting to grips with using a ruler to draw the shapes using the clues. Here's another reasoning question then. Jenny has drawn the shape below. She says, I think my perimeter of my shape is 20 centimetres. Is she correct? Convince me. So again, we have to look on the outside here. We can see that one side is four centimetres. She's drawn a shape that's got six sides. What is a shape with six sides called? That's right, it's a hexagon. And obviously, because we've only got one measurement, we can assume what? or we know what, that all the sides are the same length, which means we can do four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four, plus four or what would be my multiplication question for this? 
4 times 6, yes, because there's 6 sides, okay, so side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 times 6, that's right, 24 centimetres for the perimeter, so we would say, no, Jenny's incorrect, and because, and now we use our mat, the perimeter of a shape is 24 centimetres, so quite a simple one to explain there. Okay, that comes to the end of, of my explanation for you. Um, check out on Google Classroom because that's where your activity sheet will be for today. You can go back through this as many times as you want. We'll post it onto YouTube so that you can use this as a learning resource for you. Um, and hopefully you've found that useful. Let us know if you do find this video useful and it helps you um, answer the questions on your worksheet independently, which means without your parents having to stand over you. Um, do let us know if you need any help. We will be live always between 8.15 and 1 o'clock. Thanks very much, and I will speak to you soon.